Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to XCOM The Long War Beta 14. Alright, well we just got done with a successful council mission. Now we're here at the end of the month, I'm gonna spin the globe here. Uh, I, there's a lot of things obviously that I want to buy, I've kind of got a long list, but considering the things that I need to do in terms of building out the base, which there's quite a bit that I need to do here, uh, I've got to finish this fission, fission generator, uh, and then, um, I have to, let's see, then get rid of something else and build, I might even have to build another one here. Hold on, how much power do those supply? Eight? Plus three for every adjacent? Okay. Okay. So that's going to give me, like, 11. I've got to build... I've got to build an Olarium generator. That's basically the deal. Which means I could build one here. Get rid of this thermo generator when it's done. And then put a satellite nexus there. I mean, none of this is ideal. And, again, it was because of where my steam spots were. I shouldn't have worried about them as much. Especially on this side. I shouldn't have worried myself as much with it. Uh, but it is what it is. It's done, so there's not much I can do about it other than make the corrections now. So, got to be a little bit leery of spending money. Uh, but I still want a blaster rifle for my scouts. Uh, I want another mech 2 suit. Uh, there's some other mech items that I want. I want some upgraded mech weapons. So, there's a lot of stuff that I want. I, I want another Firestorm, but <laughs> can only deal with, with one thing at a time, so... Uh, hopefully doing some of these base assaults will get a lot of things that we can sell. That's my, my other hope. So let's see if we can't get to that now. Yay, electromagnetic pulse weapons. Okay, so electro pulse, mechs can stun organic enemies and briefly disable robotic ones. Wouldn't mind having one of those. Drone capture, that's pretty cool too. EMP cannon, that's really what we needed. Okay, so let's do terror ship research. It's only one day. Okay, how much are the EMP cannons? My guess is a lot. Wow, 329 bucks for one. And 56 Alarium. Holy moly. Well, it's not like I don't need them, so... Get started. And how long till our Firestorm? Ready in a day? Alright. We'll have to be laser cannon equipped now like the rest of them. Our chameleon suit's almost done. Incoming transmission. You've done an Grade C. Oh, a bunch of UFOs escaped. Eh. There's only so much we can do. We still believe there is Shush your face. Shut up! <laughs> I don't want to hear about your lip! Okay, engineering. How much is that thing? 329, huh? Okay, let's just the gray market then. Actually, is there anything we can sell? Two scientists. No, don't need that. This is tempting, actually, but I need the UFO power sources, so no. Stasis tanks, no. Heavy floater prisoner. I don't have any to transfer. Okay. Visit Grey Market, what can we sell? Sectoid corpses? Okay, I can sell those, I guess. Sell some flitter corpses, sell some heavy flitter corpses. We'll just sell some stuff. Cyberdisc Rex I want to keep for uh, power-ups for air combat. We're getting a lot of Get rid of a couple of these. You're not coming in clearly. Drone Rex we'll hold on to for now. Man, my Hilaria man. Wow. <laughs> I had a bunch stocked up or what I felt like was a lot. I was wrong. Do I need stasis tanks? I don't think I do at this point. So a little bit of alloys, we can sell some weapon fragments. I 
Okay, what else? You should file that request directly with Dr. Valen, although I'm not sure she'll be very open to the idea. Yeah, we can get rid of these laser rifles. Well, no, actually. Beast defense personnel can use them if I happen to get attacked again. Auto laser? We can get rid of that. I don't need that. Okay. 511. So let's build another EMP. Oh, it's painful. Okay, and scan. Million suit done. Sign new research. Three ethereal corpses. We need one more, huh? Okay, well, let's do anti grav systems then. Hmm. Plasma weapons. Yeah, let's do anti grav. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Firestorm. Nice. Okay, let's look at the hangar. Need to. Transfer him. Here? Yep. Nope. Oh, come on. Yep, in transit. Right, that works. Okay, and then... So who doesn't have Firestorm? Oh, they they all do now. 19 days for the next one. All right, let's do this. Transfer to Africa. Yep. You transfer here. You transfer... Actually... You stay where you're at. Okay, so four there. Four there. Two down there to get started. And then that firestorm will go down here. Okay, we need to rearm. Oh, the MPs aren't ready. Uh, however... Rename you. We do need to... re-equip this one as soon as it lands. I guess with a laser cannon until the MPs are done. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and let's buy some power-ups, shall we? Dodge boosters. Build a couple of those. And let's grab a couple of these and a couple of these. All right, we're basically broke. <laughs> okay. Aircraft transfer complete. Success. Wow, finally. Scilabs. Okay, who else can train? Oh, John's back. Oh, hi, John. We want to train you? Not that worried about training you, actually. Is there someone else? Jack? We could train Jack. He's got decent will. Psypanic? Okay, seven days. We can do that. Okay, so John's finally back. Wow. Nice to have him back, huh? Yeah. Very nice. Okay. 
Who else is still wounded? Just a handful. We basically have our full roster back? Pretty much. Well, that's nice, and advanced surgery's done, so if we do get wounded, future people won't take as long. And how are we looking in the gene lab? Oh, okay. Can add someone in. You need anything? No, not really. What else could we give Kwame? Iron skin? Bioelectric skin? Hmm. How long will that take? Ten days for iron skin? Oof. Okay. About Lisa. Adaptive bone marrow. Ten days, huh? No, she already has secondary heart. Do you? Yeah. Yes. Odette does. Dino does. Making sure all the top people have or the basic gene mods that they need to have. Oh, you don't. Okay, that's not good. Alright, so let's do secondary heart and adaptive bone marrow. Commander. Yep. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when... Okay, scan? Advanced surgery. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's taken forever for me to get that. Oh, good lord. Okay. Small fighter, huh? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I won't do it every time, but I had to on the first one. Get him! Approaching target now. There we go. Hey, we got a crash site. Hadn't won those in a while. Okay, well, let me put the team together, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so here's the team that I came up with. Starting off on the left, we've got Josh Carter, our Goliath mech, Mech 2 Defender Suit, Laser Lance, Grenade Launcher, Flamethrower, Alloy Belt, and Weapon Gyro. Next to him we have Firefly, uh, who was actually, this was Spitfire, I renamed her uh, as a request from a subscriber. So there you go, you're all set. Mech 2 Defender, Laser Lance, Grenade Launcher, Flamethrower, Auto Loader, and Hollow Targeter. So she should be able to do some good damage, and then again, she has two shots, so hollow targeting two, two targets is also very nice. Polaris is coming along again. Mech 1 Warden Suit, Pulse Lance, Flamethrower, Tactical Sensors, and Weapon Gyros. I actually think that this is a really good setup um, for the Jaeger mechs, and I'll have to remember this going forward, that, you know, maybe even having a couple of Mech 1 suits laying around is not necessarily a bad idea. Uh, just, you know, just keep them back, you know, and if they do happen to get hit, then, you know, pull them away, have them get healed up or whatever. I mean, they're supposed to be mobile artillery, really. They're not supposed to be up front. 
All right, Dino Kitty It's coming as our commanding officer. Carapace armor, pulse sniper rifle, laser pistol, med kit, battle scanner, and a scout. Next to him is the newly promoted Captain Roberta Vampire, uh, Roberta, a.k.a. Vampire, Kerrigan. Titan armor, pulse rifle, laser pistol sidearm, the Illuminator gun sight, a Kim grenade, and a scope. John's finally back with us, a.k.a. Future. Aegis Armor, Pulse Rifle, Laser Pistol, a set of uh, Ghost Grenades, a set of Side Grenades, and an Arc Thrower. Uh, I figure we might as well try to get us a capture on this run. No reason not to. Demon's coming along as our Scout. Uh, Aegis Armor and Kite and Plating, giving her 16 health if she happens to get hit when she's running uh, an Overwatch. She does have the new Chameleon Suit. I don't remember the exact... Uh, bonuses off the top of my head. It, it gives you plus five defense as sort of a flat thing, but when you're running an Overwatch, uh, it gives additional um, bonuses for running the Overwatches. And again, I'm sorry, I just don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but we'll try it out, and then uh, last but not least, she's got a scope. And then we're bringing along Ben Paulson, aka Survivor, and he has Titan Armor, an Arc Rifle, Blaster sidearm, a set of ghost grenades, two sets of med kits. So I have, what, five ghost grenade uses in this group? So that should come in handy when we try to do the whole capture bit. All right, here we go. Strike one. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. The UFO came down in the sparse. Yes, yeah, sparsely populated area. Gotcha. Big sky. Strike one is clear to oh, where are you, UFO? Yeah, that's the wall. So I guess we'll go. Where's the other wall? Right there. Okay. Well, I guess we're going this way. Josh, go take a look, buddy. Yeah, UFO is. Right there, okay. Firefly over here. And then... Laris... can just sort of trail behind them. Okay, Kerrigan... Hang out right there. Medic here. Dino Kitty, where do we want to put you up here for now? Uh, put you here. Scout. Time to motor. Dash up here. Okay, and John, hang out right there, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Everyone up. Let's get John up there where he can be useful. Hmm. Also, don't want him to go back to the med bay. <laughs> yeah, I just got him back, so. I'd like to have him not get, like, super wounded again. That yeah, would be nice. Where do we want to put you? Here? Put 
put you right there for now. No one in this group, including the medic, have terrible aim. Which is nice. Because there's a slight chance that Overwatch shots will actually hit. Let's go hang out up here. Where's the nearest group? Oh, right there. Okay. Let's... Do a little rearranging then. So, shoot over Someone here. Else. I can put Polaris here. The next turn we'll try to trigger and then draw them back. That's kind of the plan. So we're going to leave Josh sitting right where he's at for now. Now, can we get John up there without triggering anything? Maybe? Yes, perfect. Okay. Use steady weapon and everyone else can overwatch. Oh, we need to move the medic up. Let's do that. Right there. Not concerning myself with the meld. Okay, now, Josh, go take a look. Moving out. Hostile spot. There we go. Berserker, big berserker, and one, two, oh, two berserkers. Okay, and it looks like three B tons. That's not too bad. Someone has Kim Grenade. Yep, right here. Let's move Josh back just a bit. Heading there now. To like right here. And let's toss that Kim Grenade like so. And we'll try to draw both Berserkers into it. Should pull it into the acid. Does it take some kind of weird route? Eh, it did. Okay. Hmm. Maybe if we move up okay. like so. Okay, that was a misclick. Great. Okay, well, we'll just go like this then. Nine, huh? Okay. Let's slow both these guys down then. Deal with them next turn. Yep. Now, who can you see? Just him, huh? Alright. Pop him. 22 crit. Oh, 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 okay. Nice. Can you finish him off? Yeah, why don't you do that? Five damage? Really? Seriously? Okay. Finish it off, please. There we go. The other one shouldn't be a problem. Okay, steady weapon. Yep, E-tons are moving up. Alright. 
using the buff. Incoming fire at this position. And are you moving up? Yep, you are. Oh, that's a nice grenade target. Okay, Berserker's moving, hurt himself in the acid. That's nice. Moving a lot for a guy that went through acid and got psi grenaded. Okay, let's do this. Uh, you. You move forward and grenade these guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm, like so. Or we could flamethrower? Nah. Grenades better. Didn't destroy cover. Okay. Oh, maybe John can do it then. Let's see. John, can you take care of that? No, because you don't have any of those grenades with you. So I could try another grenade. I don't know that I want to do that, though. A chance to hit. Hmm. And we have to deal with this thing. Okay, let's come up here. There we go, 20 crit, nice. Mm hmm. Okay, and then can you kill it? Yes. Nicely done. X ray neutralized. 50% chance to hit here. Alright, let's move up. And drop another grenade on these guys. Maybe two grenades will be enough to destroy cover. And got rid of the front guy's cover. Good. Should be 100%. Yep. Nice. And... Overwatch... And we're going to throw smoke, because why not? I don't think those guys can see anyone else, so they'll have to move forward or take shots at the mechs. And you hunker down. Steady weapon. And what are you going to do? You know what? I'm going to move... Move you further back? Yeah, let's move you back here, actually. You don't need to be that close. I'll probably throw grenades. I mean, my guess. Oh, blood call? Okay. Oh, running! Okay. Also clearly an option for you. Both of them running. Oh, hate it when they do that. Chickens. Alright, well, see if we can't get eyeballs on them. No, alright. Well, I guess I'll take the opportunity to reload then. And reposition a bit. Yep. Dash over here. 
Move Polaris a bit. Okay, reload. John, can you get a decent cover this turn? No. Alright. Then go here. And hunker down. Move the doctor up. Go ahead and reload over here. Almost repaired to full. That's nice. I do hear floaters. Yeah, let's dash up behind this full cover. Let's do this in stages, it looks like. Okay, so John, you dash to here. Okay, the outsider. I'd like to capture him, actually. For more skeleton keys. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that, actually. Okay, come here. Come here, Josh. Uh, can you hit... Eh, I don't want to hit the flight computer. Alright, just shoot him. No. Denied! Okay, and I don't want John to get flanked, so... I don't think he can actually move that far, but... Those mutons are still active, so I'm just gonna go like this. Out of abundance of caution. And provide cover from both sides. And then Kerrigan... Can move up here. And Hunker. And Polaris... And move right here. And Overwatch. And my scout can... Reload here. She has low profile. Yeah, she does indeed. Okay, and then the dock. Wow, the dock's got good range. Okay, but... I think what we'll do for now... Want to push up this far? It's a little risky. Here? Also risky. That's not too bad. Hmm. You know what? I think we'll go here for now. Move up a little bit. And... Hunker? Yep. Anyone else? No. Heavy floaters? Active or not? Nope, not yet. That's cute. The meld on the roof. <laughs> Muton out in the open. Alright. Josh tank the shot like a champ. Second shot. Aha, you missed. What am I looking at here? Muton, huh? Okay. Let's get hollow targeting up on that. Actually, we may not even need it. Or we may. <laughs> okay, let's see. John. No, that's not a very good chance to hit, is it? No, it's not. We could go in there and just flame them, but then that's going to start the uh, heavy floater crew action. Let's just move back. Oh, we got him anyway. Alright. Let's see here. Say goodbye to that muton. So we have one muton, the outsider, four heavy floaters I think it is. Is that a 20 crit or something back there? Something kind of crazy. Okay, let's relocate here a bit. We need to overwatch. Yeah, we need to create 
Create ourselves a little Overwatch trap back here. We can't stay up there. That's not a good idea. Overwatch here. John. Uh, let's get you out somewhere. Well, let's move back with Firefly for starters. To say here? Here. Yeah, I like that. Let's move. Mm-hmm. Right there. Become cover again. Yep, and we'll move John back. We're in no rush here. Still want to try to get some captures, too, so... We can drop... Smoke. Mm-hmm. Like that plan. And then let's grab... Uh, oh, no, we can't do anything with Josh right now. Or Demon. Uh, actually, I can give them... Smoke also with combat drugs. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. And then hunker down. And do I want to move up here? Or here? I like that spot. Let's move there. Yep, that works. And in the turn. Come to me, heavy floater. 11 crit. Love it. And another Overwatch shot. And another. Nice. But they missed. Oh, you guys. How do you miss those? I set that up perfect for you guys. Come on now. And now he's got the bonus of the smoke. Really? Come on now, they're hard enough to hit without that. Guess we'll use explosives. Or flamethrower. Yeah. We could use flamethrower. Sure. Why not? Hello, Muton. Why do they do that? That's so silly. Run out and they open like that. I'm still operational. Okay, he's alright. Miss the other one, that would be good. Or hit them both, I guess? Sure. Okay, well, I don't want these episodes to get too long, so I'm going to end this one here. We'll pick it up in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this one so far, and if you have, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.